What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team. Let me pull it up for you guys. We are rocking out with Toxic Heal Gliscor alongside with Speed Boost Blaziken. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by smashing that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Join the community and click that bigger subscribe button. I know that you guys have been enjoying the BDSP content, so I was just like, yo, let me bring him another Glasscore team because, A, Glasscore is a fan favorite. I feel like everybody loves, loves Glasscore, and he's super, super fun to use for me personally. So, cannot wait to showcase him in the Coliseum and hopefully grab at least two to three wins with this Pokemon. But let's get started here with the team preview, starting off with Glasscore right here. And this guy is made to be out bulky right here. He's made with his... EVs and HP in the fence, and he has Sword Dance to set up. So we can set him, with, set him up with Sword Dance, get that attack up, and then still be bulky at the same time. We also have Roost to recover HP. Facade to do double damage every time we're poisoned or with a status condition, but we'll be poisoned every single time. Do tower item that Toxic Orb. And then last but not least, did I say EQ? I think I said Sword Dance, EQ, Facade, and, and Roost. Yeah, Facade and EQ are two heavy hitting moves. Roost is, you know, to get some HP back at Sword Dance is there to set up. Next to him is going to be Blaziken. Blaziken, phenomenal all around. We have Protect rocking out on him, so we can just Protect turn one, get that speed boost, and pretty much outspeed any single Pokemon. We're also rocking out with the Focus Sash, so we don't get one tap, and then we get Sword Dance set up with him. We can also Close Combat, and then we also have uh, Flare Blitz, or is it Blaze Kick? One or the other, we're rocking out with him with a nice little Fire Set move. This thing can do big damage and really clutch up a bunch of battles. Right next to him is going to be our Intimidate Gyarados. Intimidate Gyarados, phenomenal in this format. Really, really well. I feel like any Intimidate Pokemon is a huge threat and is really strong in this format. But this thing's here to set up too. It has Dragon Dance to set up. It also has Ice Fang. It has Waterfall. And then I think it's Rock and Protect with that Lumberry as an item. So, you know, burns won't really affect them too much because, you know, we'll just take it off first turn. And then if they really want to burn on us, they're going to have to get, do twice. But there it is. We'll just waste a turn with that. Next one is going to be Weavile. Weavile is great. Weavile is probably one of the best uh, controllers in the game. It has flinches with fake out. It also has icy wind. Plus, it can hit super, super hard. That's why we gave the extra belt. Rocking out with, uh, what is it? Ice Punch and then Night Slash for two heavy hitting stand moves alongside with the speed control with icy wind and then fake out with flinches. Next Pokemon is going to be Scissor, and I don't even have to talk about Scissor. I feel like every single Scissor has the same moveset because it works so well. This thing's rocking a Life Orb with the Technician ability, Bullet Punch, uh, X Scissor, Protect, and Sword Dance. Yeah, that's like the, the most prominent moveset for any Scissor that works so well. You guys will definitely be seeing Scissor in a couple of the battles and just seeing them dominate left and right. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support Clefable over here. It has Follow Me to protect ally Pokemon. It also has Safeguard to protect us from status conditions. So. If we're going up against, say, like a sleep team like Breloom, we're just going to set up a safeguard and kind of just block out from there. We'll also rock and climb mine is set up. And then we have Moonblast and the leftovers as our item to recover HP at the end of every single turn. Guys, you want to check out this team and see it in full extent, I will have, have that Poke base down in the description below. But let's get after it, yo. Let's hop straight into this Coliseum and let's get some wins with this Glass Core and Speed Boost Blaziken team. Hopping into battle number one for today's video, locking in this lovely little Glasscore team, and we're going up against an opponent that actually ch chose the rules to be 4v4, which is beautiful. I had no problems with the Coliseum so far. Every time I went in here, I got quick matches, and everybody's picking four Pokemon, which is lovely. But we're going up against, okay, a pretty, pretty strong team with two Intimidate Pokemon. That kind of does my team dirty, because we have five physical attackers and one special attacker. So we definitely have to, I'm thinking, bring Clefable here. Weavile can be nice for the lead because we can fake out and kind of get after it that way. So I'm going to go Weavile, and I think I'm going to go Clefable to try to maybe set up a Calm Mind. I think Clefable could be really, really good with setting up Calm Minds, kind of just bulking out some stuff. So we're going to go Clefable. We're going to go Weavile here, and I'm going to bring Blaziken. Erdos could be nice. Erdos could be nice. So could Blaziken, because Blaziken outspeeds a lot. I'm gonna go Blaziken, and it's either gonna be Gyarados or Glasgow here. I think Blaziken, oh, yeah, I think Blaziken could be, well, not Blaziken, I think Glasgow can be a little bit better than Gyarados, because I would think he's bringing this Intimidate Pokemon, and bringing somebody like Glasgow can post a threat with EQ. We have, uh, we have Protect on Blaziken, which is nice. I do dig that, I do dig that. But the only problem would be that, uh, that Feraligator with maybe Ice Ball. It definitely scare me, but I'm gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. We're gonna get after this battle, yo. Battle number one coming at you guys. And if I had to guess, he's gotta be leading Intimidate Pokemon. That's why we wanna lead to Clefable. So he's gonna throw out Luxray and Feralgator. So Feralgator might protect here. Feralgator might protect. I think from here, we just wanna go into a Calm Mind and fake out. Do we fake out the Feralgator? Or do we fake out the Luxray here? I mean, Luxray doesn't really pose a threat. I think Feralgator can set up with like a Dragon Dance or a Dance. Whichever one he's rocking with. So, you know what? We're just going to fake him out. And we're going to set up this lovely little combo. I'm with it all day. 
I'm with it all day. He protects Proud Gamer. So we're gonna fake out the uh the luxury, but this works out fine. This works out fine. I wonder what the luxury is going for though. We go for baby doll eyes. A lovely little baby doll eyes. Into my Weebile, which is totally fine. I can just hard swap my Weebile. Uh we are going to calm mine set up. And I could take speed control. I can just start dropping icy ones, which would be really good. The combine's gonna set up here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We can start dropping Moonblast. Moonblast could be nice. Moonblast could be nice. So I think we just uh, lower the speed here. We're going into icy wind. Even though our attack is down, I just still think it's a play to kind of just double down with this for alligator because it poses such a huge threat. For alligator's just such a huge threat. Especially if it gets set up, it's just an absolute beast. I used for alligator in the past. I'm telling you guys, he's where it's at. He's gonna baby doll eyes me again. I'm totally fine. Like, dude, I'm just, I'm just granting speed control here. Kind of just a waste of a turn. I'm with it all day. Weavile is going to drop a nice little Ice Wind. We're going to start slowing down these little Pokemon. And I can definitely see him maybe hard swapping the Luxury next turn. I could hard swap into uh into one of my Pokemon too. I really wanted to. I really wanted to. But I'm going to have to do damage on this thing. He's going to Dragon Dance set up. That's, that's fine. I'm going to slow him down again. And I'm just going to keep tackling him down into some Moon Blasts. Some lovely little Moon Blasts. But how much damage is this Moon Blast really going to do? We're plus one. I was going to calm mine set up again, but... I have to start chipping off some damage on this guy. Look at that. That's lovely damage. That's some big damage. Okay, cool. This thing has... What's he have? Leftovers? This thing's rocking the leftovers. That's cool. Lovely little leftovers. And then, if I had to guess, like, this thing might protect again. He might protect again. And I think I might read the protect here. Do I just Moonblast? Mmm, I really want a calm mindset up. I think he knows... I'm gonna calm my setup. I, th I think he knows if we go into another icy wind, we're gonna outspeed. So he's just gonna withdraw the luxury. So this is a good calm mind setup. Hopefully he, he protects here. He's gonna go into. We got Star Raptor maybe? Yep, Star Raptor. Which we are gonna icy wind, which is lovely. And uh, what can I do? I think he's protecting you, right? He does. Okay, so he does protect you. Uh, what do we do? Star Raptor's rock final gambit, which kind of stinks. Really could do me dirty here. Final Gambit can definitely do me damage. We're going to Icy Wind. We're going to take some Speed Control here. We're going to chip off some damage. Okay. So there's that. Um. Hmm. I'll drop another Icy Wind. I think I just Icy Wind again. How do I double down into the Star Raptor? Because a Final Gambit could do me dirty. A Final Gambit could definitely do me dirty. Keep taking Speed Control with these Icy Winds. We've always here for Speed Control. Um. I'm gonna go after Star Raptor. I can't swap out. I cannot swap out. We was gonna icy wind again. Lovely, slow them down, and hopefully Michael Fable can outspeed the Star Raptor, and we can just dump on it. Come on, come on, Fable. This thing's minus two. This thing is minus two. He's minus two. It rocks U-turn, Brave Bird, probably close combat, Final Gambit. That's what I would rock with it. He's gonna go first. He's gonna go for Final Gambit. Can we? We were dead, right? Oh no, we eat. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. And now the Moon Blast slides over. Oh! Give it to me. I'll speed Fable. I'll speed Fable. No, you do not. You can go for a Waterfall. Let's go in there for Weavile, right? Fable. Mm, that's tough. That's real tough. But luckily, we do have speed at this point. Luckily, we do have speed at this point. Okay, uh, from here, I could just bring out Glide Score. I could bring out Glide Score. Or I could bring out Blaziken. Can I, can I switch to Blaziken? I'm going to switch to Blaziken. Alright, let's see what this guy does. I'm gonna go into Tandy. Okay, so Blaze was a good call. Only problem here is going to be that one. And at this point, we could just, uh. Good hard swap into. Glass here. Let's get my fake out back. I really do like that. We know he has Luxray in the back end. So I could Blaze kick into this slot. Because if I had to guess, he might be Rage Powder and trying to uh, keep this Pokemon alive. But if that's the case, he's Rage Powdering, we can use our Focus Edge here. So I'm with the Blaze Kick all day. I'm with the Blaze Quick Kick and swapping out Weavile. This is a great battle. This is a great first battle. Hope you guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. We're going to hard swap into Weavile. And he's going to put, oh, yo, what a call by him. Great call by him. Great, great call by him. Blaze Kick's going to come through. And Waterfall's going to poke. Wow, what a play by him. I'll give it to him all day. Our Focus Edge is going to pop. What a play by him. Hmm. 
Okay, so we have Toxic Heal, which is poke. Hmm. I'm gonna go into a facade and I am gonna blaze kick still. Gonna be my play all day. Let's see what he does. He could swap that Tangrowth. Now he goes for Rage Bound. Okay. The Blaze King could go first, and we're hoping Blaze King can actually just pick up KO here. Man, I wonder who he's gonna go for. Cause this is, he's in a tough situation. Blaze King comes in here. Big time KO. Big time KO. Get that crit. Oh, that's lovely. That is a lovely critical hit. Yeah, our opponent's playing good. Our opponent's playing really, really good. We go for Facade. Can this take out with the with the with the poison on us? It does not. God dang, that's some. I wish it would have taken out, but still, Blaze King got his uh, value out of him. We can bring back out Weavile now, and now we're sitting in such a solid spot. Such a solid spot. So he's probably gonna protect that. Uh, cause who who's he have left? It should be GGs, right? It should be GGs. Who's he have left? Luxray, right? EQ can do some big damage. EQ can do some big damage. He intimidates us, and he might. Oh, he doesn't have baby doll eyes. Might be closer than I thought. Might be closer than I thought. In this case, I'm setting up a sword. And I'm just going to go for an icy one. Because A, it will slow down the Luxray. And B, it will kill this frog again. He just can't smile. That is awesome. What a first battle for today's video. What a first battle to get this video started. Our opponent played a good battle, but you know, your boy Jeans just had to come out on top. We're hopping into our second battle, trying to look to go back to back and guarantee ourselves a winning record. And we're going up against a really cool team right here. This is why I love playing BDSP. It's a lot of fun. We're seeing Pokemon that we never really get to see before, but he has the legendary OP Ambipom. Ambipom is such a big threat. If you guys haven't checked out my Ambipom videos, definitely go check them out. One of the best Pokemon in BDSP, in my opinion. He also has uh, Snorlax, alongside with Storm Drain, Gastown, which we have to watch out for. And then Jinx, Gardevoir, and Milot. Okay. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like Gliscor could be decent here. Gliscor could be decent. I really want to get him in here and do some work with him. But at the same time, Scissor is an absolute must, which I might lead. I might lead the Scissor. I think Weavile and Scissor... Could be a great lead here just to get us started and then we could go into glass score and then i'm thinking i'm thinking gyarados I'm thinking gyarados could come here the gyarados could be lovely right gyarados could be nice or blaze can come in here because blaze can will eventually be able to outspeed a lot but gyarados everybody loves themselves some gyarados but the storm drain is kind of scaring me so i'm gonna go blaze i'm gonna lock in blaze super effective up against that snorlax uh and that amy palm get some work done on the gardevoir and the jinx I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a guaranteed winning record in battle number two. Come on, baby. Who's this guy leading? Gotta be the Ambi Palm, right? Like, we know he's leading Ambi Palm, right? No, he's not. Okay, yo. I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. Weavile and uh, Scissor come out for me. I'm with this all day. No Ambi Palm. I'll take it all day. So, Bull Punch could fly out here. Or, or I can just set up for a sweep, which I'm kind of looking forward to. I'm gonna maybe predict the protect, right? Maybe protect the protect out of the guard or swap. I'm just gonna fake out the Snorlax. The scissor is just like there's a swap. There it is. Lovely play by Gene Joe. We setting up. We setting up because scissor just poses that huge threat on any fairy type Pokemon in this format. Oh, there was a little lag there. Yeah, I saw that. Fake out's gonna go through the Snorlax. This guy's probably like, oh dang. Oh dang, this is this boy setting up. This boy just read me hard. So what a play by me to get this battle started. We're setting up with our dog and uh Trying to think of how we can actually go into this. We do not need speed control. I already have. I could just go into a nice, lovely X to draw on the Milotic. And I could. I might double down into Milotic. I'm going to double down into Milotic because Milotic has hypnosis. Oh, <laughs> Jeans is playing a dirty game today. Jeans is playing a dirty game today, yo. Makes that one we didn't. Uh, that one we didn't read. That one we didn't read. We were just. We're just out playing. We're just out playing. He, he, we, we just got lucky there with the swap. But he get, he's going to go in for the Storm Drain. I'm surprised Milotic actually outspeeds like that. But Milotic's going to go down here after a shot, which is lovely. I probably might take speed control after this with Weavile and just look to kind of just uh, sweep out this battle. Exers are going to fly through here. Yep. Get on out of here, Milotic. So that's a huge KO for us. One of the water Pokemon out of the way. I feel like the water Pokemon really kind of posed the biggest threat up against us. Because I do have uh, Glyscore in the back. Scissors is too good. He's just way too good in this format. Way too strong. Way too strong. You guys can just see the power of him right here. Especially with a Pokemon like Weavile on its side. It's a fake out. It's one Pokemon's function. And then if it's, there's like another Pokemon, you can just get the reset up. Then you get first turn priority real quick with all these. Uh, 
with uh with these bullet punch but i'm just gonna rock into an exit here i'm gonna finish off that gas that gas shot is really posing a big threat to me anything else and i'm gonna double down the gas shot maybe strong axe might protect dang it dude gastrodon protect <laughs> i was thinking about that i was thinking that thing might protect if we double down we're not gonna be able to get any damage off and hopefully strong isn't taking out my my lovely red bug my red bug is I need him. I need him. So, Snorax, leave me alone here. He's going to go into a curse. Hey. Oh, there you go into a curse. He's going to drop his speed and boost his stats. Um, do I target him down now? Do I target him down now? I guess I attack on that defense. We do not have any special attackers in the back end. But we do have high score. We do have Blaziken who can do some music. So, you know what? I'm going to rocket this x scissor here. X scissor should be able to KO that thing. And do I go for the freeze here? I'm gonna look for the freeze on you. I just punch Vizera. Yo, give me a freeze, yo. Freeze that thing. Dang it. X scissor comes through. This should be able to KO, right? Psh, psh. Big old damage. The definition of big old damage right there. That's a great turn by us. Great, great turn by us. Uh, he's gonna go into another curse. He's gonna try to set up an outpost. Right. I feel like if we get out, uh. If we can get out Blaze, can I could just sword dance up? Kind of stroll off from there. But I think we're fine with that. Who's he gonna bring out your guard war, right? He's gonna have to bullet punch in that. If I had to guess, that thing's probably choice scarf, right? Most of them are choice scarf, so bullet punch gonna fly here. And I might hard swap, but you know, I'm just gonna keep looking for this freeze here. I'm gonna look for the freeze. The lovely freeze. There's no way this guy just completely sets up with this. Noise. He should just cancel battle. I'm with this sweep, yo. I knew it from the beginning. Once he didn't lead the aim pile, I was like, oh, yo, it is over with. He led the guard for I was like, yo, we have such a huge threat that I made that great first turn read. We needed to swap out or to protect, which he swapped out. We picked up the strong sl slot, and then we just started clinging the swords for plus two attack on a scissor. And you guys know that. It's pretty much GG's after that. Bull punch comes through. This thing does not have protect. Like I said, it's probably a choice card. And we say, hey, get out of my face. This guy's looking for the uh, the Stormlax work. He's looking for the to get some work done with Stormlax. He's looking to get some work done with Stormlax. Ice Punch gonna fly through him. We're looking for the freeze, yo. RNG, we're, we're waiting for it. He's going for a curse. This thing is just bulking up on defense. So he's plus three defense, plus three attack. Like I said, I feel like our, our ways of winning this is going to be out our uh, Blaze can sword stance up, use our focus ash, and get this thing with the Right, that's gotta be your play. That's gotta be your play. We'll X scissor cross. I'm just gonna keep going in this. He's gonna Ice Punch him. We're gonna get this freeze eventually, right? It's 10%. 10% freeze. What are you looking for? All? Bill, give it to me. Dang it. X-Scissor coming out. How much damage are you going to do, X-Scissor? Oh my god. I did way more than I thought it would. That's GG's. That's GG's. Just don't kill my scissor. Go for another curse. No. High horsepower. Eat this up. Oh. <laughs> my sweep. My sweep, dude. I wanted the sweep. I wanted the sweep. It's all good. We'll bring out Blaziken. Get this fool out of my Coliseum. This is my Coliseum, yo. Guaranteeing ourselves a winning record. We're going to hop into our third and final battle. Look for a perfect record, but yo, we're finishing off this dude first. Don't cancel battle. I want to kill your Snorlax so bad. I'm going to kill your Snorlax. You want to go Ice Punch? No freeze. But then Close Combat comes in here, and that's GG. Get them all out my face. Get them all out of here. There it is, guys. 2-0. Oh. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for a perfect record for today's video. And this guy changed the rules to six Pokemon. So it looks like we're bringing you guys a good third and final battle. We're picking all six of our Pokemon with this team and we're going to get rocking out with it. So hopefully we get ourselves a good battle here. More importantly, grab ourselves a winning record and come. Come on, dude. What? Yo, get out my face. First, this guy picks all six and then he has the, the audacity to fill his party with legendaries. A Latias, a Palkia, Garatina, Jirachi, Mew, and Shaman. Get out my face, dude. Get out my face. All right, yo, we're going to whoop up on this dude. We're going to whoop up on this dude. All right, give me give me Weavile the lead. Give me Gliscor as well. And let's run the rest. Are you kidding me? Yo, I hope we win this one. I hope we win this one. That would be absolutely amazing. The audacity. The audacity <laughs> to bring in all legendaries. <laughs> He's going to go in with... Garatina and Palkia. Okay. Kind of scaring me because, you know, I could go into a fake out. I could set up a Swords Dance. Might have to be my play. I could straight up throw chop. 
get after it. What do you think I should do? Third chop will probably do more damage. And we're gonna outspeed, so you know, we're gonna do that. I could swap. I could think he's going for a water move. He's going to Clefable here. I'm gonna swap my glass here. We are gonna get into Clefable here. Clefable! Get on out of here. I'm not dealing with the water move from him. Coming in with like a probably a hydro pump or something along those lines. Just have to keep my glass going. Check here. Yo, if we win this battle, or if we even come close, yo. If we even come close, that could be nice. Do it. Oh, and they stayed their levels too. Are all my Pokemon level 100? Are all my Pokies level 100? They might be. Oh, we kept the level two. Aqua Tail does come through here. So good swap by Jeans here. We out here soaking. He's gonna go for a Roars. God dang. Actually, that's coverage. Can you eat that? Dang legendaries. These dang legendaries. All right. Let's get after this. We have leftovers triggering. I want this win. I at least want to come close. I can be amazing. I think all my Pokemon are high enough level to be 100, right? They're all, they're all 100. Cool. Um, the rock out with Ice Fang here. I think I'm going to go in the air this year. God dang, dude. It would be nice to get one more turn out of that Weavile. We could follow me this turn, but I don't think that's a play. I think we just go straight into a, uh, a Moonblast. I could Dragon Ant set up. Woo. That could be good. That could be good, but you know what? Ice Fang's just gonna poke here. I think Ice Fang should do enough damage to take that out. We'll see, and we're just gonna slide over and move last over onto Palkia. I'm with it. I'm with it. These guys 100% outspeed me. Most of them do. Not my Gyarados, though. We can take him out, please. Oh, give me a freeze. Give me something. Help me out. Nope. How? How? Ouch. I didn't know that we outspeed him. He flint. Yo, that's huge flinch. We love that. Moonblast gonna fly through here. And from here, we're just gonna go into an ice. Pack. How much damage can do? Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. More than half. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, so we have leftovers triggering. That's a good amount of HP. Especially level 100, Joe. We're bringing you guys some, some goodies here. Go into another ice fang, and Moonblast should be able to finish this thing off. So we can take a nice. A nice two kills here all day. Ice Fang. Yo, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Palkia is going to go next, which is a little tough, but still, we'll take that. Another power gem. Okay, yeah. The Gyarados is going to drop out here. That's fine. That's fine. You have all legendary. I'm going to keep this close. I'm going to keep this close. Plus, I have two Pokemon that could sweep him back in. He saw a Shaman and Jirachi. So, Blaziken, I might want to get out Blaziken. Blaziken, it's probably prime time Blaziken, right? Probably primetime Blaziken. It's Jirachi, he has Shaman, he has Latias left, and what was the last one? It's one more, I don't know who it is, but it is primetime Blaziken. Primetime Blaziken. And Clefable's just soaking up some HP, which is lovely. He's getting a great amount of HP up in here. Blaziken's gonna come out here. Who is his last Mon? Who's Bubba? Who's Bubba? Mew, that's the slice spot. So Mew comes out here. Mew is a huge threat, and Jirachi can come out and Jirachi has to be stuck. Okay, cool. I'm with that all day. Uh, she could just protect the Blaziken. Start teeing off. I'm with it all day. Let's follow me. Let's go, dude. Bring on legendaries, dude. Bring them on. Bring it on, baby. <laughs> follow me's gonna poke. Like I said, we have Pokemon like Blaziken and Scissor in the back end to do some mean sweeping. Blaziken's gonna come out here with a Blaze Kick. Oh, do not take it out, but we'll take that damage. Okay. And we get a burn. We like burns. We like burns. We can go for a psychic. Thank God. We still have our focus dash, which is great. That's easy soaks for my boy. I think I'm just gonna have to constantly follow me. Ooh, medium mash my KO. Can we eat that somehow? Oh, Clefable, my girl. Clefable, I love you. Um. Hmm. How much damage does this burn do? You know? More than half of that? No, we're gonna need two more burns out of that. Uh speed boost can come in here. I think we trigger our sash here. I think it's Sash time. I think it's Focus Sash time. I do think it's Focus Sash time. We're gonna trigger Focus Sash. Actually, we might not. Actually, we should be able to eat up both these because Psychic goes first. Blaze Kick's gonna come through here. That's good. That's good. Oh, <laughs> Blaze King coming in hot with the burns. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Flash Cannon comes out here. And it's like, so beautiful, yo. We're able to eat up both. So he he knew the Mew went first. So he was just like, let me Flash Cannon try to take this out so then I can slide the Psychic. But yo, that's money. 
Money. Okay. Okay. I want this win so bad. So one more burn should take him out. I could bring out scissor and absolutely dump on that. Well, my plan might be just to protect. Actually, I could just bring out scissor. But honestly, I think turn is to protect Blaziken and sword stance is clash. I think that's my turn all day. Let the burn take out Jirachi and we'll sword stance him. Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. I want it. Give me the win. I want it so bad. I, I can feel it, dude. I can feel it. It's close to us. Blaziken's gonna protect. He knows he's a threat, so he, he wants to get rid of Blaziken real bad with Psychic. Block, baby. Show me you're doubling down. We're so, we still have our focus ash results. I don't mind if he hits up on my glass score. And he doubles down. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Yo, if we win this battle, anyone who's not subscribed has to subscribe for us whooping on some legendaries. Whooping on some legendaries. This just goes to show. Outplaying opponents and knowing how to play is better than having strong Pokemon any day of the week. Burn comes out here. Get on out my face, Jirachi. Yo, we are stacked up here with Blaziken having speed control. We still have Focus Ash for him, so we know we can't die in one shot. And Glasscore set up here with a Sword Stance. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Toxic Heal. I forgot about it. I forgot about Toxic Heal. We love it. We love it. We love it. Okay. He's got to bring out Shaman, right? Prince. Who's Prince? This is Prince. Level 70. Okay, so this one's not before we level up. I feel like this thing's a threat. Um, hmm. Good hard swap this. Good hard swap the blaze here. Bugs nice, yeah. The bugs looking good. Uh we might just try to chip up some damage. Or we can go in here like this. Facade. Lovely facade. I'm with it. Jeans with it all day. Blaze King's gonna blaze kick. This isn't gonna KO, but it's gonna bring it close. You can go for psychic. We still have Focus Ash, dude. We wasted a ton of turns there. A ton of turns. That's lovely. Glasgow is probably not going to go next. I think Latias is. But this is totally fine. Oh, Glasgow does go next. 30 levels ahead. And Facade. Mwah. Facade with the Swords Dance. Double damage because of the poison. Under Sash. Oh, does this take out? Woo! Money, money, money. That's GG's. That's GG's. Blaziken's just going to dump on the Shaman. But, uh, what was I going to say? Facade's double damage with the poison or any Sash condition. And then we have the plus two on Swords Dance. It was over with. But yo, this battle wasn't even close. Jeans is running a set of legendaries. An absolute set of legendaries. He throws out his final Pokemon, which is his lovely Shaman. And I really don't want to kill this little Pokemon. Oh, it's only level 30. Uh, we would have won regardless of it, even if this thing was level 100. I don't want to kill it. Some things have to be done. I want to kill it with my Glass Core, if anything. I want to kill it with Glass Core. <laughs> Obviously, I could just Blaze Kicked it, but besides luck. Later. Get this guy out of my Coliseum. Perfect record for you guys, and more importantly, dominating a full team of level 100. What a performance by your boy Jeans in today's video. 3 0, grabbed ourselves a perfect record, won our first two cleanly, fairly in that third and final battle. This guy went to battle six, threw out a bunch of legendaries our way, and we just gave him the psh, psh, slapped him up all the round. But yo, Glass Grid Blazekin, both of them are absolutely amazing alongside with other Pokemon like Gyarados, Weavile, Scizor, and Clefable. I just think this team kind of gels over well, and it's really, really strong once you can set up a few of these Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.